So let's talk about Mini Hockey Champ. This was my first game. It released in 2017, so like five years ago. Um, this was the first time I, I was really able to, to put an entire game idea together and it wasn't just loose ideas and it had some structure. Looking back on it now, it's it's comical how rough this game is to me and you know, you, you accept that it's your first game, but uh, there, there's so many, I was, I think the, the most interesting thing was I was just so focused on presentation in this game above anything else. Cause I knew that was my strong suit. I knew visually I could make this game look really good. So I spent a lot of time making sure that that part of the game was, was working. And, you know, one of the questions or at least one of the critiques of this game is why, why one-on-one -on -one hockey? Um, and it's obviously, it's obviously a good critique because it's, it, it's really limiting in terms of, in terms of hockey. And, uh, for years I tried to make actual hockey game five on five, even three on three and completely just struggled with the AI. My skill level at the time just wasn't there to, to be able to make the type of game that I wanted to. And I just kept quitting and starting over. So at some point I came up with the idea of just doing one-on-one -on -one and uh, figured, you know, if I remove some of that AI problem, then, you know, I can just focus on all the stuff that I think is cool, like all this presentation stuff. And there's a lot of it in this game. Um, I'm getting killed, by the way, by the AI here. Um, you know, the, the players' faces are detailed. They blink. They have facial reactions. And there's just a lot. And everything's obviously very simple and stylistically is the thing, but... There's, there's so many little details that I thought were so cool. Like, oh, if I can get you, if I can get the puck, I'll show you. Like, the amount of rink detail, like these guys down here, the little cameraman follows you around, the guy holding the coffee cup, the dude working on the scoreboard. Like, those are details that no one cares about, but those were the type of things that I was really excited about making in this game and figured those are the type of details that players would respond to and, and kind of overlook the other limitations of this game. And unfortunately, I think that wasn't the case. Most people who have bought this game and played it have enjoyed it once they figured it out. But I think for a lot of people, the, the learning curve is just so high that uh, they don't give it a chance. One of my favorite uh, notes on people, why they returned the game on Steam, was the person said, this is the hardest game on Steam, which I thought was hilarious in the world of Dark Souls and all that stuff, that this little silly hockey game is the, the hardest game on Steam. But I think for some people it's true. Um, like I said, I spent a ton of time on details. Like, look at this intermission screen with the guy talking and the Zamboni going in the background. It's, it's all very cool, um, but it's... My energy is just focused in the wrong place. Um, the crowd is super detailed and very animated and does a lot of interesting stuff based on what happens in the game. And, you know, it's neat, but yeah, like I said, unfortunately, it's just the wrong, it was the wrong place to, to spend my time in, in the end. Um, this game took me three and a half years, three and a half years to get here. And um, I th I've said this before, but uh, the the entirety of the sales of this game is a good month of Sunday Rivals. So, uh, in terms of my time and my my money and what I got out of it, it's it's not there. But this game was a huge learning experience, and uh, I really learned how to make a video game on my own, and I understood what. I got a good sense for what players really wanted from sports games, and I think that's that's probably evident in Sunday Rivals. This guy's killing me. Oh my god. Um, I hope it's evident that I paid a little bit more attention to, to things like gameplay, and it's a little less simplistic than this is. Oh my god. There we go. Finally. A um, little less simplistic, a little bit more focused. This is real, you know, it's real basic with, with what you can do, the amount of things you can do. I haven't gotten a fight yet. That's kind of like the, the one additional thing you can do in this game besides check and shoot. Um, God, I'm bad, bad at my own game. Um, and there's, there's, there's a lot of fun. I was talking to folks on, on Discord. Uh, shout out Pocket, Pocket Jake. There's, um, 
I gave the players these like really fun names, and uh, apparently I didn't put their first names in the game, and I can't for the life of me remember why. Um, but all the players have first names, and they're not in the game for some reason. It's just silly, silly stuff like that that didn't didn't come through. Um, it was part of that learning experience. And I'm playing terribly. I'm actually pretty good at this game or something at some point. It's This game is, when we talk about the difficulty level in it, it's actually not that hard once you figure out the the rhythm of the game and you can just kind of pepper goalies and get them out of position. And that was kind of the, that was like the whole game design. And I think I said before, you know, I, I just expected... I expected everyone to have an understanding of how video game hockey should play to the same extent that I do. And, um, and I think that that fell short in the final game. And in terms of the, the depth here lacking, a lot of that was just because I thought people would have fun just playing the game, seeing how many goal, goals they can score, trying to break their own records, you know, because that's how I used to play NHL, uh, NHL 93 and 94. I would just play it over and over again and, like, you know, try to get nine goals with, you know, Jeff Sanderson or whoever whoever it was, whatever random guy that I picked, because that was super fun to me. And, yeah, I, I, other you know, people wanted other things in this game. They wanted to be able to make their own teams and they wanted to make their own players and have a full season and a bunch of other really good ideas um that i just didn't think were well i think i don't i didn't know that they were i felt they were important but i also felt i couldn't do them um effectively or or at the level of skill that i think they needed to be for people to enjoy it let's score a goal here man i'm real bad this is funny I figured I'd be really good at my own game for a second and show everyone how it's not that hard to play. Um, let's see if I can get in a fight. I don't know if Pittsburgh has any fighters, and I don't know that, that uh, Montreal def- definitely doesn't have anyone who fights. So this may be a lost cause. Oh, this guy's killing me. Patrick Waugh over here. Diving around. You know, I threw around the idea um, about potentially remaking this game or something, and it's it's one of those things where I feel like I could probably do it in a matter of months, even with the existing assets, or probably with the existing assets. Um, but again, I don't I don't know if it would even be worth it. You know, whether or not people would want to play. It, it obviously it couldn't be one on one. I'd have to do twos or threes or something. <laughs> this is hilarious. I can't do anything. Um, but I don't know. There's there's still a hockey game left in me. Um, there's a better version of this game left in me somewhere. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen. But it would be fun to, to make something that looks like this, that plays a little bit better than this and a little bit deeper you get to check the guys after the game yes of course very important so yeah details this guy talks tells you how bad you played you get rewards no one knows about this or i'm gonna i'm gonna quickly do this before this video goes any longer i have all these unlocks you can do in the game oops so i bought big head mode let's just turn that on real quick Player size, big head mode. Let's do Boston and Calgary. Yeah, look at that. Look at them heads. It's amazing. Yeah, you know, like these are the types of things that I figured, you know, if I if I showed people this, they would overlook <laughs> the limitations in the game. It's like, oh my god, it's got big head mode. Like who cares? Who cares if it's just kind of the same thing over and over again? Those heads are giant. Like, let's be honest here. Those are like really big heads. 
think a lot of games do big head mode and they don't really give you big heads, but those are big heads. So, you know, kudos to me five years ago, really scaling up the heads. All right, this guy. Come here. You're mad. You want to fight. You want to fight me. You definitely want to go. Here we go. Big head fight. Hit him with that haymaker. Block. Block. Punch. Oh, knocked out. How embarrassing. How absolutely embarrassing. All right, got the puck. High to low. Boom. It's a beautiful thing when it happens. That's what I'm saying. A lot of good details in this game. A lot of fun stuff in it, but just kind of missed the mark on other places. Kind of like the goalie on that play, giving up that fat rebound. I'm going to call this a game. It's been fun playing. Hope you enjoyed whatever, whatever I did here. Uh, mini hockey champ. Not a bad game. Not a bad shot. 